Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Let's Play Act of War Direct Action Part 7. As always, my name is Echo Hour and I will be the disembodied voice hosting this Let's Play. So, in our previous episode, we uh, kind of began our second stage of our attack on the uh, on the terrorist forces that are going to be attacking the uh, Transglobal Energy Refinery here in Egypt. We are now just trying to clear out any forces that are here. Um, only reason I'm here at this tiny little island right here in the middle of the map, which is not accessible via land, is I was worried that they'd actually try and use this as a staging area for attacks against me, so I'm just going to kind of secure it with some infantry here, kind of put them in ambush around. Um, so thankfully I'm back, I'm back in my apartment so I can be, uh, kind of noisy again. Um, don't have the family around making all sorts of noises, uh, don't have to worry about them overhearing and coming over and be like, hey, what are you doing there? Uh, my, my family's a nosy bunch. Um, so back at it, uh, I'm also excited to announce that... Uh, I've started working on a new video. Um, it's going to be a little more work. Uh, it's going to be released as a series, so it's not going to be released as a live commentary. It's kind of a of an editing work on my part. Um, but it's going to be a kind of how-to series on uh, for the Sins of a Solar Empire game. Um, oh, someone had mentioned that it. Uh, you know, they'd like to see a tutorial video, and I realized, you know what, yeah, uh, Sense of a Solar Empire, I mean, it's not the most complicated game out there, obviously, you're always going to be able to find more complicated games out there, uh, but it is complex enough, and it is popular enough that I feel like it should get some attention, uh, as far as just explaining how the game works, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and throw a nice tutorial series together, keep it concise, uh, trim out all the fat of normal gameplay, and get right to the to the topics that people want to know about. Um, I'm hoping to get that out here uh, probably probably around the new year, probably around January I can start releasing those. Um, so I'm mean, looking forward to it. Uh, but for now I'm going to keep doing Let's Plays. Uh, I would say we're about 30 to 40 percent of the way through um, through Act of War here, uh, obviously as the missions go on, they're going to get longer and longer just because they're more complex, more stuff's happening. Um, they're not tutorial missions anymore. As far as Empire at War goes, I want to say I'm, about, I'm over the hump with that one. I'm, I'm close to getting closer to the end. Um, so, starting to look forward to what uh, what what uh, what new series I'm going to start. I feel like uh, Star Wars is definitely going to be done first. Um, so I'm trying to start thinking of a new series, uh, and now I'm, I'm kind of curious, like, uh, what should I do? Uh, I've noticed that the the three games, including this one that I've done so far, have all kind of been strategy kind of games. Uh, Sins was more of a macro level strategy game, but uh, uh, an Empire at War was kind of a is kind of a mixing of those two with the macro level, but then a real time strategy aspect to it that was more just like this. Um, so I'm, I'm wondering uh, what I should do. If, if you guys want to keep seeing uh, the strategy games or you want to see me start to branch out and try some uh, other games. I've, I've got a decent Steam library. I can, um, I've actually been having a look at the, uh, <laughs> the, the sale recently that they've been having because uh, I just wanted to see if there was any uh, any good games that would be worth uh, doing a let's play of so I'm uh, trying to get that uh, situated take a look at that um, but you know I just I, I I'll, I'll probably come up with one myself but if any of you guys have uh, if any of you guys have an idea by all means share it uh, if I feel like it'd be a good game to watch um, if it'd be enjoyable, if I feel like I'm, I would be good enough at it to to make it an interesting let's play. Uh, I would definitely do it. Um, obviously, I feel like uh, this. I, I'm not trying to do like a, uh, not trying to do a 
uh, it's one of those videos that you see on the internet of a guy uh, failing over and over again. I know that's a thing. I know it's uh, people like to watch it. It's funny. Um, not really. I'm not really. I don't know. I don't think I'm witty enough for that kind of stuff. It's not that I don't like being funny. I'm, I'm all for funny in video games. I just don't think that I am witty enough to to <laughs> to take that uh, and and say, oh yeah, I'd be a good comedy video maker. I feel like it, it takes a certain type of personality, and though I think I can be a funny guy at times, I don't think I'm frequently funny enough to to really make a good comedy. Roger that, Major. All hostages are accounted for. On the way. Bring them back to headquarters and watch out. The enemy probably wants to get those men back. Just Major, the these way. TGE guys are talking our ear off something about invisible vehicles. They heard soldiers talking about a base near their vehicle depot somewhere southeast of here. Hmm. That sounds promising. Vega, will you look into it? I've spotted a small base in that area, but I don't pick up any stealth right. signatures. Maybe we just need to take a closer look. Jefferson, how about you go check it out? Let me get this straight. You want me to go out there and risk my neck looking for invisible weapons based on a warm, fuzzy feeling in your tummy? Yep. Just my kind of job. It's all over for you. <laughs> so there we go. It's, uh... Where's that coming from? Oh, over here. Alright, so they tried to, uh... They tried to take our TGE guys, but I think we got them into the safety of our base, and they'll get us some money once they get back. Um, we'll go ahead and capture these guys over here. But yeah, as I said, if any of you guys watch this and they give a good idea for what would be what would make a good let's play, let me know. Um, I'll definitely take it into consideration. Uh, I I try and granted, there's not like it's not like I'm beleaguered by by comments or anything but I do try and take what everybody says into consideration um, someone else uh, asked that I try and make a uh, sins video to cover the the DLC uh, there was DLC for sin that came out with uh, some new worlds and some new uh, meta worlds I don't want to kind of say it's not that they're not worlds but they're um, they're like uh, stellar an anomalies, I guess is a good word for it. Um, just kind of like stardust and space debris, more more stuff like, like along those lines. I forget what exactly it was, um, but I just didn't feel like it was enough content to really make a whole new video about. Um, it would have basically been an episode's worth of hey, here are all these things, and that would have pretty much been it. Um, so, if you guys are curious about that, go check it out. Uh, if I can, I'm going to try and cover some of that in my tutorial videos that I'm going to be doing. Um, but uh, we'll just have to see what I can pull off. Uh, if I can present that stuff without making it seem like it was just uh, kind of interrupting the flow of the, of the tutorial. Um, so, here we are. Uh, we are just kind of wrapping up this mission. We're kind of only got a couple things left here. Let's see what our objectives are. Destroy the SA-12 site and investigate the southeast quadrant of the base. So we're gonna set these guys up over here to defend. I've already got these guys built. You strikers can be artillery and you can be tank. Building construction is now complete. There we go, everybody's set and ready to go. Copy that. Let's get ready our medical helicopter out of there. Uh oh. Building construction is now complete. We have there we go, we took him out. Okay, so We've got one injured guy, so where'd our medical helicopter go? There it is. Let's see if we can get there before this guy bleeds out. I think that was the only guy we lost, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, because we had six snipers and uh, two Task Force Talon guys left over from my very, very poorly executed assault. Um, so let's do this. Do we have... I feel like there was one up there. Enemy spotted, sir. Maybe not. Okay. We got some baddies over there. 
Uh, you come over here and build a yes, refinery for me. And you already built one. Alright, there we go. I was gonna want one right there. I'll build another one, we'll build it over here. We'll have two more for this. Alright, so obviously there's uh, SA 12 sites over here. Um, so we don't want to just send our airstrikes into it. As a matter of fact, let me just for the sake of showing you guys, because I have enough money, uh, let me just show you. What uh, what airstrikes launched against the SA-12 site will kind of yield. I think we'd actually be able to take them out if we threw enough uh, of our bombers at it, but it would we would lose a good bit. Um, so here's our jets coming in. One of them's got shot down. So yeah, we will take out one of them. So with uh. Crap. Where did all these guys come from? Alright, let's get another out here. Let's see if we can't get a uh, tower built. Okay, you quickly. Alright, that should be building fast enough. Yeah, because he's not attacking. Okay, you kind of come over here and get there. He's not going to make it. Yeah. Okay, but this should be done. And anti-air. Just got to make sure we defend this base because I kind of want more money. Not that I need it, but uh, more money is always nice. Here we go, finally. I think they're gonna kill this. Build it right here. Go, go, go. You can repair this. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, okay. Okay, I think we'll keep the refinery alive. Yeah, yeah, we're repairing it faster than they can damage it, which is fine by me. There goes our sentry gun, shooting out the infantry. Build the anti-air as well first. Is he not actually hurting them? Here we go. I guess you can't shoot in the... I always thought the Gatlin guns could shoot the air. Okay, we're just waiting on him to have one of those situations. We'll bring these guys back. Capture all these jerks. Interrogate them, do evil things to them for the... Uh, for all the trouble they caused us. Because now we got to build three refinery tanks, those jerks. Um, Alright, so if I remember correctly... There was a sizable defense force here at the uh, at this desert compound. Enemy unit um, so we took out the SA-12s. Let's just queue up. I think it was yeah. We only lost two, so it's not bad. Um, we'll send in our airstrikes at the bunkers. If I remember correctly, they were. There were uh, artillery guys around here. So while our jets do a flyover, we'll make a note of where all those artillery are. Yeah, there's one right there. Aircraft ready for launch. Matter of fact, we might get taken out. Yeah, okay. Just gonna do a flyby up here. Nope, oh, there he goes. He found it. We'll just kind of take this base out from the air, I think, is a good tactic, and then we'll move in with our ground forces. Set another global hawk here, another one here. 
and one back here. That's why, because they're throwing guys at us now. Matter of fact, we're just gonna move in now. Go, go, Bahawk, go! Obviously gonna want to focus that, and I think we blew up their artillery. Yeah, we did. And yeah, we got them on the run now. Alright, group one can keep chasing. Group two, move in. Where'd they go? Alright, well, we got a bunker right here. I don't want to take that out. Take out these remaining two bases here. Never seen anything like this before. Vega, we got something here for you. Jefferson, transfer the data. The stealth technology is complex. They use micro cameras and electrochemic polymers to project background images in front of the vehicles. It's, it's very clever. They're very expensive. Few labs can afford the development cost. And only four labs are using the polyaniline composites we found on that tank. Look who owns all four. Son of a. Send this to Chamberlain. Wow. I had no idea someone actually took these from the prototype stage. The Russians call them Akulas. Basically, Heavy tanks with very advanced stealth capabilities. Good thing it wasn't activated. In low light, you'd never see it coming. Give me a second. It shouldn't be too hard to figure out who made this. We'll get the uh, repairmen out here. Matter of fact, you guys move in to defend. In the meantime, we need to focus on our immediate objective, the TGE refinery. Vega, bring up the tactical situation display. The only way to reach the refinery is through this old fort at the entrance in the El Cazor Canyon, just north of our position. Jefferson, prepare your troops for a direct assault. I expect the enemy has garrisoned their forces inside the fort. Moving out. Order received, sir. All right. Ready for well, what I'm going to do... Order received, sir is I kind of want some more air cover, Vehicle so... Destroyed. Where? Oh! Just point the way. Get out of there. Just point the way. I think we've got, uh... There he is. Yeah, I want to take him out. I love our mortar, guys. Yeah, that's why you don't mess with mortars, jerks. It will wreck your complete. stuff. Alright, so we got our jets ready. Let's queue up three more Global Hawks and three more FA-35s. Bring our medical helo out of there. Alright, so these guys are going to be group three. We're going to put all of our snipers in there and... Task Force Talon in there, as well as giving them some extra support here. In the form of paradrops, because I don't think we can get there very. Actually, these guys can. Striker here. Striker here. Yes, sir. You guys come up here. Oh, 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 oh. Let's get back here. Rolling. Tango sighted. Aircraft ready for launch. So we don't need to mess with them as much now that we have our anti-air. Yeah, this is why we build defensive turrets. Yeah, those guys are all dead. Where's that sniper? Over here and capture these. Aircraft ready for launch. Making their way in. Enemy unit captured. All right, so group two. Enemy I think they lost captured. one vehicle. Enemy unit captured. Move group one up here. 
Enemy unit captured. Still holding this that we don't really need to. Building sold. Yeah, Building so sold. Sell these. Waiting for orders. Turn this into kind of a forward operation Aircraft base. For Let's build uh vehicles. Can we build vehicles here? Yeah, there we go. The That'll be nice. While we're at it. Ready you can come over here and build one of these, maybe. Maybe not. Building construction is now complete. I don't think we have enough room. Yes, sir. There we go. That's that's plenty. All right. So. Aircraft ready for launch. Just point the way. And here's the ready base that we're looking command. at here. Let's move into the city. Operational, sir. Have these guys check orders. out this place. Come on, mortars. Out the building. If I remember correctly, there's a building good bit of artillery in this base. Um, so I kind of want to attack from all directions and along with full support you got it. from Just point the way. Just point the way. air forces. There we go. Took out those guys. So I think we're good to go up here, but we still we'll still move oh, yeah. over here. We got six global hawks. So what we're gonna do is kill B2 to attack target. here. Going number two to, to attack here. Going direct to target. Have another bunch of attack over here. Copy that. We'll send in our global hawks. Copy as soon as our uh, as soon as our airstrikes come in, hopefully we can. I don't see any other. I don't see any other rail guns. Here come our global hawks, though. Infantry unit lost. Our strikers attacking him. Oh, hello. There's where a lot of our enemies are. Okay, so. We've kind of found where our enemies lie. Push up this way. Three, move up over here. That's what I was worried about. Where's their artillery? Alright, took out their power. There's their artillery. There we go. Oh, hello. Can't let you guys play around. I don't have any. Oh crap! I don't have any anti-air. Okay. Well, hopefully those jets will get here fast. That was an oversight on my part. Where's uh? There we go. Major Fort is all ours. All enemies are neutralized. The road to the refinery is now open. Well done, soldier. We're gonna make our final push at 0400 hours. Get some rest. It's been a long day. Got that, Major? We're coming in. Hey, Lieutenant, would you put some drinks in the cooler, please? My men are at the gate entrance now. We're preparing to storm the complex. No, Major. Hold on. I'm in a staff meeting with the President right now. This will have to wait. We can't wait. They're going to blast this place into orbit if we don't move immediately. Major Richter, this is the President. I agree. I hear what you're saying. Do exactly what you have to do to protect the refinery. Right, Chamberlain? Okay, here we are on the gates of the Transglobal Energy Building. A little hesitant to talk because I'm not sure if they'll actually say something, but I don't think they will just yet. Alright, so. Marine 
We'll make you guys squad one, squad two, and the snipers, of course, three. Matter of fact, we'll assign Jefferson to group one. Uh, well, we're definitely going to want an even number of of anti-infantry shields and anti-vehicle shields. We'll make them group four. We're going to turn this guy. This is the main battle tank of the of the uh, Task Force Talon. Uh, so it's got the anti-vehicle mode, which has got this main gun thing right here. It's got an anti-air mode, which will basically, I think, one-hit kill jets. It's actually pretty powerful. Yes, sir. Let's try the other one. And then it's got the drone mode, which basically deploys these unmanned uh, little kamikaze drones that are actually kind of useful on this uh, mission type because we don't have to we don't have to spend our little uh, we don't have to spend our little guys attacking a defended outpost so we can just send it right in here and just chip away at their defenses while uh, our strikers at all remain safely behind So we killed a guy. I actually should be rushing that main, that uh, that guy who's dedicated to attacking ground force. As a matter of fact, do I have to go around every time? Yes, I do. So what we're going to do is we're going to blow this up first. That'll open that up so we can actually drive right through there. We got another drone. We can move you a bit closer too. On your command. We're gonna beeline right for that that guy right here. There we go. Kill the anti-vehicle guy. Let's take out that BTR. Boom. There are two Tokamak reactors near your position. They are powering enemy railgun turrets near the entrance. If you destroy those reactors, you'll neutralize their defenses. So I like how from before they're surprised that these guys have stealth technology, but nobody's afraid. Nobody's surprised that they have railguns. Um, railguns are pretty much the defensive structure of the consortium, and I guess you know you can't really can't really have them undefended through the entire game, but it just doesn't help with the story very much. Other than blowing these guys up, it's a lot better to just kind of drive them over. Yeah, there we go. This might be easier to blow up for, though. Yeah, there we go. Took all those guys out. And see, while we're doing this, we're actually getting this guy experience, our main battle tank, so that he will eventually just be able to wreck house, which I am fine with. Take these guys out. Yeah, see, we can blow up all these buildings. Anyway, that's going to have to be for another time, guys. Uh, I want to thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for part eight.